guys, welcome back to Jen's Vanity. Today what we're going to talk about is Pixie Skincare. Um, Pixie by Petra is a brand that is available at Target. You can also purchase it off of Pixie's website. Occasionally you will see Pixie nail polish on Outlook, but today what we're going to talk about is the skincare. So let's go ahead and get into it. I was fortunate enough to be sent a PR package from Pixie, and I am super thankful for that. Thank you so much, Pixie. Um, I also did go ahead and purchase one additional item on my own, and I will let you know sort of which is which. So the first item that I'm going to cover, I think, is I'm going to go from my least favorite to my most favorite. And the first item that I did get from them was the 24 karat or 24K eye elixir. This does retail for $22. And um, it has like a little metal roller ball type tip on it, so it's supposed to help uh, decrease the puffiness and things like that. If I keep looking down, I do have like a little cheat sheet that I put together so I can talk about what's in the items, basically. So this is supposed to be a multitasking product. It is infused with powerful anti-aging ingredients to refresh the eyes and prevent signs of fatigue. Collagen helps to repair the delicate eye area, peptides, plump fine lines, and um, the raspberry tones the skin. It has also got that cooling rollerball tip on there to encourage, to encourage circulation around the eyes, and all pixie items are not tested on animals. So this is just recommending that you use it a.m. and p.m., and you gently roll the ball from the inner corner to the outer corner two to three times for extra deep puffing. You can also chill this before using it. So you could keep it in your refrigerator and then just pop that on. Um, the reason why this is my least favorite product is eye puffiness is not really something that I suffer from unless for some reason I didn't get a lot of sleep. But typically, that is not something that I, I struggle with or suffer uh, from, so that is why. But otherwise, um, the consistency of it is more of like a serum -y type. It's a very lightweight um, eye treatment. So moving on, and this might surprise a lot of people, and don't get me wrong, it's not a bad product. Um, it's just... And I get it because... Well, let me tell you what it is first. It's the... Uh, Glotion Day Dew. It is a cream for your face and it's a brightening lotion, but it also has like pink shimmer in it. And it's not chunky or in anything like that, but not every day do I want my skin to look this dewy. Like you can see the shimmer, like opposed to this one. And granted, a little bit of that is because the lotion is still wet, but it has a sheen to the skin, and it has a very pink tone to it. Uh, as far as a moisturizer, I think it's uh, a decent moisturizer, but uh, for me, every day, I don't, I don't want this. Now, I do understand that Pixie's philosophy is obviously multitasking products that are going to make beauty fast and easy for you, um, and I get that. And so I do get why they did that. Like, as you can see, as that dries down, um, it's pretty much almost dry and you're still getting a lot of shimmer. So I do get the philosophy behind it and that. But as far as an everyday cream, this is just not something that I'm going to grab for because of that shimmer. And it is not something that I personally would want to use on my skin if I wasn't wearing any makeup. Again, the Glotion Day Do retails for $22.00. It is an advanced illuminating skin perfecter. It nourishes and smooths while giving a boost to dull skin. It's feather light and hydrating. This moisturizes, imparts a natural looking radiance to the skin tone, makes the skin look healthy and more even. It's got lavender oil to calm, uh, kaolin purifies, and uh, mica brightens. And again, it's not tested on animals. This is saying that you should use this in the AM. Apply a thin layer to clean toned skin and dab an extra layer anywhere where more glow is desired. So you can definitely spot use this lotion, which I have done. So again, don't get me wrong, I don't dislike this product, but in the array of products that I've gotten, this is uh, not at the top. The next item is the Glow Mist. 
And I don't believe this comes in different sizes, but this one is a 2.7 fluid ounce. It retails for $15. And it's a product that you have to shake up and then you can just apply, I believe, either on naked skin or over makeup if you want to sort of liven up the skin again. Uh, let's just take a look at what it's supposed to do for you. It gives a glowing, luminous, and smooth complexion, enriched with 13 natural oils, aloe vera, and fruit extracts. It hydrates, protects, and nourishes your skin. It sets makeup, adds a dewy finish, and protects the skin. It refreshes makeup, hydrates, and adds a glow. It is recommended for all skin types, and again, not tested on animals. So you're supposed to apply this AM and PM, or when needed, shake to mix it up. And close the eyes, mist all over face and neck. So what I really like about this is I use it primarily just to give a little more hydration to my skin. So let's say I've gotten out of the shower, I've put all my face creams on, things like that. I've went upstairs, I've gotten dressed, I've come back downstairs, I'm going to do my hair. I haven't done my makeup yet and my skin still feels tight. Which unfortunately for me does happen. Then I will grab this and just mist it all over my face to add a little bit more hydration before I go up and do my makeup. So for that reason, I really like it. I have used uh, a little bit of it so far. Yeah, I just really think it does a good job of hydrating the skin. And now on the bottle here, it does say that it's got propylis, which I'm not exactly sure what that is, and argon oil in it to... Um, to help with all that moisturizing that it's going to be doing. But um, I'm sure this is not the first time you guys have heard of this and it's gotten lots of rave reviews from people all over YouTube. So if you're interested in more reviews or thoughts on this item, you can go ahead and just search for it and, and a bunch of videos will pop up. But I do really like this item. The next item on the list, and this is the item that I picked up myself, everything else that I've mentioned uh, Pixie did send me, so thank you again for that. Um, the Glow Tonic. This does come in several different sizes. The one I have is the 110 mil and it retails for $15. This product I really, really like. I had an exfoliating toner like this from Aveda and I just really liked that it helped exfoliate my skin without me having to use any sort of um, grit, you know, like a physical exfoliator like that or having to use my Conair Sonicare type brush. So this is formulated with 5% glycolic acid, so it is also supposed to help um, just slough off the skin with that acid in there. It exfoliates, brightens, and smooths the skin, which I totally agree with. Sometimes if my skin is a little sensitive, I cannot use this twice a day, but I typically would go to use it at the end of the day where my skin's a little bit more dry flaky. Um, it has aloe vera, ginseng, and botanical extracts to work together to moisturize and treat your skin. It adds an instant glow to your skin, and it's alcohol-free, recommended for all skin types, and again, not tested on animals. Again, how to apply this, you can use it a.m. or p.m., and you would just clean your face, uh, saturate a cotton pad with this, and then just wipe it, um, sweeping it across the neck and sweeping it across the face, neck, and uh, chest if you want to do that area. And then you would follow with your serums and your moisturizers. I really like this item if you guys don't have any sort of exfoliating uh, toner or tonic, as they call it, I would absolutely recommend picking this one up. I feel like it just does a really good job at brightening the skin, exfoliating the dead skin cells off, again, without having to use some sort of physical exfoliator. So I really do like this. It is second on my list. Then last but not least, this is my very favorite from Pixie by Petra, and it is their Beauty Sleep Cream. The first time I used this the next morning, I just couldn't believe how fresh how calm, how clear my skin looked. I mean, I still had acne, didn't take care of that, but the redness in my skin just was calmed way, way down. So what I really like about it um, is that it's very calming. And then if I just wanna go over it in the morning with this to just exfoliate and cleanse my skin a little bit, um, it keeps that calmness, so it's a really good base for applying my makeup if I don't wanna go in with like another wash. So for that reason, I really, really love this. And again, for any sleep cream that I've had, it is, uh, it is really different in that. It really absorbs in well, it doesn't feel too heavy, and it does still nourish and calm the skin. 
Going into the details about this, it says that it's fast absorbing, nutrient rich nighttime essential helps protect, nourish, and hydrate the skin while you sleep with 100% natural mango butter. And it's got oils of lavender, lemon, and bergamot. And the cream combs and balances your skin tone. Again, it's not tested on animals. So this item they recommend just using in the PM. Apply a thin layer to cleansed and toned skin. It is recommended on here for best results. Uh, Petra recommends to layer this on top of the Overnight Glow Serum, which I do not have, but I'd be interested in picking it up. So that is everything that I have for the items that I currently have um, from Pixie. If you guys are interested in any of these, I will go ahead and link them below to Target if I can find them as well as to Pixie's website. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, leave me a comment below if you guys have any of these items. What is your favorite? And if you have tried any of the other skin um, care products from Pixie, let me know your recommendations in the comments. I would love to hear your thoughts and recommendations on the items what I should pick up, and um, thank you again so much for taking time out of your day to join me, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!